As many of you know, I am super passionate about kids' oral health. It's something that I really hold close to my heart. So in this video, I'm gonna give you my top three tips on how to prevent children's tooth decay. I get so many patients through the door, families, parents that are really concerned about their children's teeth. And sometimes you see multiple decayed teeth and it's not the parents' fault, it's just that they don't know. And no one's there to judge, we just wanna try and make it a lot better. I think it's a massive misconception that baby teeth don't matter or milk teeth don't matter because they drop out and they get their adult teeth, but that's so wrong. Baby teeth are so important and actually if you lose your baby teeth prematurely or if they need to be extracted, then that can have an effect on the adult dentition as well. So tip number one is a good oral hygiene routine. This is so important. Even before your baby's first teeth have come out, get them into that routine. You can get little silicone brushes that fit over your finger and you can just get that into their mouth or even just use a wipe. This gets the child used to having something in the mouth so that later on, when you're actually using a brush, it's not such a big deal. Like all habits, it can be really hard, but you have to persist. All of the good habits that you instill in them when they're young will carry on into adulthood. So even though you might have the odd tantrum, definitely keep going. I'm gonna take you now and show you some of my favorite products. These are some of the things that we have here at the practice and that might be able to help you. So here you can see we've got a few products here that are aimed at children. First one is this toothbrush, which is for naught to two years. Just got to make sure that it's got a big chunky handle so it's easy for babies to get hold of and to get used to. And it's also easy for parents to get hold of. And it's got a really small head, soft bristles, and you can get in there with this toothbrush. We've also got the two to four age uh, toothbrushes, which again are a lot smaller than adult toothbrushes. They've got little characters on them. And again, the heads are very, very small so that they can get into the uh, child's mouth and you can clean quite easily with them. So they're quite, um, they're quite popular as well. A couple of tips actually on cleaning children's teeth. I think it's a really good idea that you make it into like a family thing. Children mimic their parents a lot. So if you're brushing teeth, just make sure that they're watching you and you're doing it with them. Another really good tip as well is maybe putting on a song. There are lots of apps out there at the moment that you can download onto your iPhone, literally put it on and it'll play their favorite tune and then you can brush your teeth, they can all brush their teeth to the music. The other really important thing is making toothbrushing fun. So if, again, like I said, if it's a family activity that everybody's getting involved in and also it's giving them that routine so that they wake up in the morning and before they go to bed at night, you're joining in the whole family um, brushing teeth and it, it just makes it fun for the children. Uh, some parents do also use um, reward charts, so you can use sort of stars or stickers, put a big chart up in their room and every time they've done it, you know, at the end of the, every day you can give them a star, that works sometimes. For really small young children, sometimes doing it at bath time um, and you know, when, they're, when they've sort of uh, got a toy in their hand or they're distracted, parents can sort of get in uh, and brush their teeth. It's really important that parents do contribute in brushing teeth up to the age of eight, at least eight. Sometimes we say between eight and 12 really. Um, so it's really important that you are brushing their teeth and you're the people there showing them how to do it up until that age. Tip number two is bring your kids with you to your dental checkups. It's so important that the kids get familiarised with the building, with the waiting room, the staff, the dentist, so that they're not scared. Everyone always asks me, when shall I bring my baby? As soon as their first teeth are up, definitely bring your children with you. It will just make them feel a lot more comfortable and that way it's not a scary thing and hopefully we'll have no tears. Tip number three is being sugar smart. Now, there's hidden sneaky sugar in pretty much everything. Milk, bread, you know, yogurts, lots of things contain sugar, and we've just got to be really aware of how often that we're giving these sorts of treats to our children. The way I see it, your teeth can take five sugar attacks a day, and bearing in mind, your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner make up three of them. So you've got two other opportunities that you can have a sweet treat and your teeth will still remain healthy. No babies are actually born with a sweet tooth. If you give a baby water, 
or a young child water, it will drink water. It's only when we start introducing things like sugary drinks in bottles, sugary snacks, that they actually become more and more addicted to it and they want it more and more. So I do think it's up to us adults to really make sure that we're keeping those sorts of things to a minimum.